Hello everybody and welcome back to yet again another prospect preview and today we are previewing one of the most underrated players in this year's draft. Out of the US national development team this guy brings the creativity and the work ethic and really makes him one of the most underrated players in this year's draft. We're taking a look at Frank Nazar today. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more prospect-related videos, we only have two more left after this one, but make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below for more prospect-type content. Anyways, I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get into the video. Jump back in. He does it. He picks the puck up in the offensive zone. Nazar in front and a goal. Wow. Short-handed. Short-handed. That was an amazing sequence as Nazar was able to... Get a stick at the bench. I'm going to guess it's not even his own stick. Some basic info here on Frank Nazar. He was born January 14th, 2004 in Mount Clemens, Michigan in the USA. He plays center slash right wing and he shoots right and is 5'10", 181 pounds. This guy has got to be one of the most creative players I've seen in the offensive zone. The way he can generate chances with his insane shot makes him really really underrated even the czar himself thinks he's underrated when he was asked he thought he was underrated as a whole i feel like i just i'm a bring big part to the team i bring a lot of big chances and it's kind of a little looked over and looked upon i don't really give up much when it comes to the defensive side and i think that's kind of something and it definitely is something and we talk about players having egos like shane wright wanting to go first overall or thinking he should go first overall I think this guy has earned the underrated status. His draft rankings, like the other prospects, are kind of all over the place. He's ranked number 9 by Consolidated Ranking, ranked number 5 by Elite Prospects, ranked number 15 by Bob McKenzie, ranked number 12 by McKean's Hockey, ranked number 25 by Craig Bunn, ranked number 14 by Sportsnet, ranked number 7 by Smash Scouting, and ranked number 4 by Dauber Prospects. Nazar is one of those guys who has a quiet and confident competitiveness to him. He's not the loudest one in the locker room, but he will definitely be reliable when you need him. If you need a goal, you go to Frank Nazar, 100%. When you look at his statistics in 2018-19 with the Little Caesars 14U AAA team, there's just no stats. <laughs> I couldn't find the stats anywhere. They weren't on elite prospects, Dauber prospects, hockey IQ. They, they, they weren't anywhere. They were just nowhere to be found. But anyways, in 2019-20 with the Honey Baked 15U AAA team, he had 49 goals, 78 assists for 129 points. In 2020-21 with the U.S. National Development Program, he had 20 goals, 16 assists for 36 points. In 2021-22 with the same team, he had 15 goals, 20 assists for 35 points. Nazar has not played all too much international hockey at all, but he did play in the USA U18 team during the 2021 World Junior Championship, where he scored three goals, had six assists for nine points, and it was officially announced for whatever team is drafting Nazar, they will have to wait as he is going to play in the University of Michigan in 2022-2023. Now looking at how he can play both center and the left wing, he wasn't even a center until a year and a half ago. He started training in that position because he knew that in the NHL, players that can play two positions are the most valuable. And when you have a, a center who gets kicked out of the faceoff circle, because we see this happen a lot, especially in these playoffs, it's good to have a wing going in there that has that center experience, right? You look at his strengths, he has a great shot, some great creativity, and a really good work ethic as well. But in the weaknesses, his range shooting isn't the best from what I've seen on some scouting reports. And he is kind of selfish. I do, I do want to take that into consideration. He is kind of selfish. He doesn't tend to pass the puck all too often, which, I mean, there are some players in the NHL who will be like that, but Nazar is not, not the type to pass the puck usually. But nonetheless, I still think Nazar is an amazing player, and he definitely has a lot of potential, especially playing those two positions of center and right wing. And even though he is kind of selfish in some of these scouting reports, Nazar still passes the puck. He still passes the puck to a lot of his teammates, and even though he's selfish in some reports, he's still a good passer. Habs Eye on the Prize, which is like a Montreal Canadiens website, spoken on Frank Nazar saying, quote, Once Nazar has generated that space, he really begins to shine in the offensive zone. His shooting talents while playing second fiddle and his playmaking skills are a strong piece in his toolbox. And I think Nazar absolutely excels 
in that area. But anyways, guys, that does it for the prospect preview on Frank Nazar. Apologies for the delay on this one. Uh, it took me a little bit because transitioning from house to house. But anyways, tomorrow we will do the preview for Matthew Savoie and then Connor Geeky as we move closer and closer to the 2022 draft. But anyways, that'll do it for me. Thank you all for watching Fries Pours Late. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.